So six principles of RSI interpretation. We have, let's uh, revise what we have done. So what are the principles? The tops and the bottoms. So RSI actually entering the overbought zone, above the 70 zone, is extreme zones for a stock. And the 30 level, going below 30 level, is again an extreme lower level for a particular stock. The most popular RSI level is the 14 day, but always you can change the figures in your software. It could be a 7 figure, it could be a 9 day RSI, whatever you find suitable according to your price chart that can be used. But always remember whenever RSI enters this above 70 zone, that means that it's time that you don't buy any extra thing. If you are already on a buy side, hold on, hold on. Unless in the price chart you are getting a reversal, you keep on. But first signs RSI already above 70. But stop giving a negative divergence or a signal of a sell or a bad news, a bad result or candlestick reversal. It could be anything. But that gives you an indication. It's time to book profits in the long. If you wanted to short, it's the best time to short because here the risk is the least. But whenever if it's a strong stock and it's a primary stock which is in a primary uptrend, say in this particular market uh, uptrend which we are in right now, we can say Maruti is in a very good uptrend, Mahindra and Mahindra is Ashok Leland in auto, then State Bank has started a reversal on the upside, Kotak Bank and some ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, a lot of banking has been on an upside, some of the cyclicals like Apollo Tire, has been in an uptrend. So these stocks, in these stocks, whenever it comes above the 70 level, it means that it's time to book some profits. And whenever the RSI daily of these charts are coming below 30, it will not be every month or every week. Maybe in one or two months, it will give you an opportunity. In that case, what you do is whenever it's come to, coming to an RSI oversold level, look for a buying opportunity in the price chart. It could be any kind of reversal signals because if again the RSI in a strong stock has a tendency that whenever it, come, it comes to an oversold level, from there it can bounce back and again go to test the overbought level. Again when it comes near the overbought level, it's time to book some profits and let it come either around the 50 level or below the 30 level and look for buying opportunities again. And you have to write price chart has to be the primary importance thing. So just entering the oversold or the overbought is not enough. Along with this, any kind of indication in the price chart when used in conjunction with RSI can work very well. So look for opportunities in the price chart. So whenever a strong stock in a daily chart comes to, it has to, if it comes to an RSI level from 70 to 30 or below 30, it has to be some kind of good correction or some kind of good bad sentiment in the market for that stock. That is why it has given a correction. And this correction, if the fundamentals still look good for the company in the coming days, you should buy them when the RSI is below the 30 level. And whenever they are coming around the 70 level, look for opportunities where can you can book your profits. When it's the reverse, the stock is in a downtrend. In that case, what you do, that you look that wherever this stock is coming to a RSI level above 70, at that case, it has given a bounce back and it, has, it is in a primary downtrend. In these, say in these particular months, even though market has been making an all-time high, yes, you can look for shorting. I told you, Bollinger Band even, how to see the stochastic in weekly, I'll explain you this in the revision part. But the important thing is when the uh, upper Bollinger Band part is being tested and the RSI level also tests above 70. In that case, whenever the upper band has been tested, after the testing, if there is a, a one candle after that, which is making lower high, lower low, with respect to the particular candle which has tested the Bollinger Band. In that case, you can take a calculated risk with the RSI above 70. You can look for a selling opportunity. A better is, well, how do you short? You short below the low of the particular 
candle which has made a lower high lower low with respect to the particular candle which has tested the Bollinger Band and below the low you short keeping the high of that candle as stop loss. So what happens that RSI already overbought and Bollinger Band being tested and lower high lower low make, being made with respect to the previous bar which has tested the Bollinger Band. It's a calculated risk you take. But the powerful one will be, more powerful one be if the stock tests the Bollinger Band. And after testing the Bollinger Band when the RSI was above 70, the stocks makes a reversal pattern. Especially the most popular one are the candlestick reversal patterns. Yes, yes, weekly charts. You can use both stochastics and RSI. Okay, how to use stochastic in RSI? The one I gave you, saucer and the inverted saucer. They work very well in the weekly particular weekly charts. They work very well. So whenever you find a saucer, the stock is, uh, it's a saucer on the, after the stock, a stochastic has gone below 20 and a saucer is being formed. It will take many weeks for the saucer to be formed and the stock, stock, a particular saucer starts moving above the 20 level. That is the first sign that stock might be giving new lows, but the correction could get over somewhere here and a bounce back, a short term bounce back could happen. So saucer is better, divergence also works well with the stochastics. So a divergence in the stochastics along with the weekly chart can be a powerful signal. Uh, whether 7, 14, 10 days. Now this depends. This entirely depends that if you are doing it in a daily chart, maximum you take a trade is say 14 days you can get your uh, profits. Now that depends on how much correction has taken. Suppose from a price recently high made in a very strong uptrending stock, the stock has fallen for say a period of two months. If it's a fall after two months when the RSI has come to an oversold zone and you are looking for a support zone where you can buy this strong, strong which is, has been in a downtrend for just uh, one or two months but the overall trend is up. So in that case it might not give you a, a trade in just uh, 14 days. It might take a month for you to get a very good uh, upside swing but suppose if the daily RSI you are checking and in just 7 or 8 days or maybe 10 trading session the stock has given a fall, it's now near a support and RSI has come to an oversold zone. Now when here you are buying because there was just a 10 period fall or a 10 candlestick fall, probably in the next 7 to 8 candles you might get a bounce back. Okay, so that is important the how much time period the fall has been or how much time period the bounce has been for you to short again. You can play both sides but the time period remains important. So if the fall has been for just 7-8 days, maybe in the, when it bounces back within 4-5 to five days or 7 days maximum, it will give you a bounce back. But if it is a fall which has taken 2 months to recover, in that case it might take 1-1.5 one, one months to get a very big target. And that definitely if it's a fall of two months, say the fall was 15%, you can expect another uh, 10 to 15% move on the other side if you get it right. So that depends on the time frame. In RSI, you can also be use in the weekly in the along with in conjunction with stochastic. In the RSI, yeah, yes. Yes, that happens that during the bull market most of the stocks are above the RSI 70 levels and continue being overbought. Does it mean that the RSI does not work in the initial phase of a bull market? No. That's why I told you that just shorting there is not a good idea. Keep on with your long. And if it gives you a sell signal in the price chart, only then you are actually shorting or you are exiting your long. So just entering the RSI entering the 70 zone is not enough for you to short. It might be in the 70 zone but it has a tendency that it actually reverts back. It's, if it's in a very strong uptrend, it might not test the oversold zone. It might come around the 50 level and that happens. It may be once in two months. Still it has a tendency that it will bounce back from those levels. If it's a weak stock or it's a stock which has a lot of fluctuation, in that case every two to three months the RSI level might come below 30 and it gives you a swing opportunity to buy this stock around a RSI oversold. Yes, just uh, what was the question, let me check that.
Now, if the RSI does not make a new high and the stock price is uh, making a new high in daily, I told you that is called a negative divergence. A negative divergence in itself is not enough. It could be that the stock is in not in flavor right now too much. Uh, or maybe the, uh, there are not too many players in this stock. The volume is less, the participation is less. And those who are playing with this are taking it to new highs. But the momentum is not strong, as strong as it was earlier. But still I will tell you that because the RSI is making a negative divergence is not enough unless the price chart gives you the first signal. Price chart should be of the primary importance. RSI only says a negative divergence only shows that uh, you should not buy too much of this stock now. At least let it correct a bit. It might take some time. But after the correction, let it come to a reasonable level of say 50 or a below 30 level. At that time, again look for buying this stock. So that is what it says. Now in weekly, a lot of times you will see the stock which is in an upside momentum do test the RSI level above 70 and stocks which are in a downtrend, they have a tendency of testing below the 30 level. So in that case what happens that if it a stock is in an uptrend in the lower side, the weekly 40 level RSI is a very very important support. The zone between 40 to 50 in the weekly RSI is very very important support, long term support for the stock and a stock which is in a very very downtrend for that a weekly RSI level of 50 to 60 if it's a very very strong momentum upside right now like in the market right now. So it's a bull, roaring bull market for the last one year. In that case what happens not 50 to 60 but around 60 to 70 that means overbought level of RSI weekly around not exactly overbought but near 60 to 70 that is a very very important resistance level. So say a stock like the Jay Prakash Associate which is in a downtrend or Arcom even when the market is making an all time high they are making a 5 year, 6 year low at Ucom. So a lot of stocks are there who have not performed and say even a Jindal Steel. So when they bounce back and the RSI weekly levels in that case come around a 60 to 70 zone, in that case it's time to look for shorting them. And for stocks which are in a very up, good uptrend, if the RSI, there has been some correction in the stock and you're looking to find buy that. In that case, the RSI level of around 40 to 50 is a very good support of long term for that stock. So you can always use that in conjunction with the daily RSI. Okay, when the RSI level of 40 to 50 will be tested in the weekly charts, in that case, the daily chart RSI level will come below the 30 level. So it's a weekly setup is around 40 to 50 and the daily setup is somewhere below 30 level. So that gives you an opportunity wherever you get in the price chart a buy signal, you should latch on to that. Now that depends that how should we RSI, RSI be, should be used in a trend line. Now you can get a trend line support in RSI just like we get in the raw chart and the trend line is broken. But I personally say that just because the trend line has been broken say after a strong upside move and that shows that trend line breakdown of a channel say, you are saying, uh, please repeat this question, what exactly do you want to understand? So trend line breakdown says that RSI suppose gave a negative divergence and there was a very good uh, channel going on in this particular stock. Now channel says we are in a flow. Until we are in a flow, yeah, yeah. So what happens that generally what happens if the RSI has given a negative divergence and the stock has actually broken the lower part of the channel, then in that case, that is important. Just because the RSI is somewhere middle is not enough. If the RSI is over, is above the 70 level and in that case, and the 70 level, the stock is actually uh, has broken a channel on a lower side. It was a breakdown. In that case, that can be important. It shows that RSI giving a negative divergence plus the stock breaking an important support level, a trend line support is an indication that probably the stock could fall from here and the correction could be a good one. So similarly, if the RSI is an oversold zone and it has started, yeah, it's time to exit. It's time to exit your long position and enter short position. 
because it's a it was a negative divergence and a support has been broken a support trend line has been broken a channel support lower line has been broken it means that you exit your long position and if you wanted to enter a short position you are looking to short this stock it's time to enter a short position and if the reverse happens daily chart analysis yeah the figures will be that if it's a strong uptrend and the stock has already tested the RSI oversold overbought level that means most of the time when the stock is in uptrend like now, right now if you go through a Maruti, Maruti chart or a Mahindra and Mahindra or say some of the Ashok Leland if you go through these charts what you will find is that these stocks the most of them the, even the daily RSI level is above the 70 and even the weekly in recent time has tested the 70 level so here it shows that probably since it has tested the 70 level if it gives a correction that is where you wait now since both in both weekly and daily it is in an overbought zone it's very risky to buy or take big trades on a buy side right now now suppose after testing the overbought zone if it comes or actually there is a some some kind of correction and the stock comes to test the RSI on daily basis say a 50 level here you can look for opportunities that do I am, am is there a moving average support or is there a candlestick reversal pattern here or there is some uh, XYZ news in this stock because of it you can again after the correction buy it at a cheaper price so again you check also the stochastic at that time 